Greetings, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel, where we do reviews, okay? Good, bad, or ugly, I love them all. Got that from the juice. Okay, for the love of juice, check her channel out. She's fantastic. But for the rest of you all that came to see me and what's going on, on my channel, get your coffee, get your wine, get your tea, because it's time to chit-chat with Lady D. So get on in here, get on in here so we can sit down and talk about this subject that I'm finna bring out to you guys. It's nothing new, and it definitely ain't nothing new under the sun, okay? But we just got to have this talk time. Yes, this talk time about what in the sand hill. The sand hill, now I'm going country on y'all. What? in the world is going on with Apollo 9. Now, just a few weeks ago, every tabloid, every magazine cover, everybody that was reputable in the journalism and entertainment news section of the media had said Apollo 9 was getting out of jail. Okay, sir, his five years got off a little bit because of uh, good behavior, I believe. He got Introduce a transition to the halfway house is what they call it, all right? Now, I want to know, is Andy Cohen, is Phaedra Parks, do they have anything to do with this? I just really want to know. My radar is going up because I'm like, wait a minute. I want him back out with his boys to help Phaedra raise them kids. And I'm looking to see this new lineup of sitcom show, lineup of, this, uh, lineup of sip, sitcom show coming out. Just saying love about the lockup with Apollo. Okay, and his new girlfriend slash fiance slash caregiver. I don't know. Okay, but I want to really find out the tea. That's why they got to go and let my man out so he can just go on and spill it all. Because he's full. He's full with information and he just want to rub. But I want to know, is there any way possibly that Phaedra Paul could have done something, called someone, paid someone to keep him detained because she didn't want him out on these streets telling stories about her past and current situation. I don't know. But I'm like, let the man out. And I'm like, Apollo, if you did something really stupid, like having a cell phone when you shouldn't have had it or extra visitors or they told you you couldn't have no conjugal visits anymore because it ain't like the lady is your wife. Uh, she's your fiance. But I'm like, come on. You went five years, all right? What could you have possibly got in trouble for to make them put you back on the list to go uh, in front of a judge for him to put some more sentences on your behind? I'm like, come on. Or is it drama? Drama reality feel that Andy Cohen is behind all of this just to spark up some new sitcom show. Like I said, love at the lockup. He's trying to bring out maybe a rumor, maybe put on hold, maybe still in development. I don't know. But I'm like, don't be playing with my emotions, okay? And this is good television drama because I get to look at a nice looking man. And he get to drop tea on Miss Phaedra Paul. So anybody else you want to drop tea on, okay? Just come on out and tell the truth. Just like he is finally came out before he went to jail and said, no, nah, Portia didn't do nothing with me. Kenya didn't do nothing with me. I was trying to get it on with them, okay? So he told us that truth prior to him going to jail. <laughs> How they say, let the truth set you free. <laughs> and he didn't want nothing on him while he was sitting up there in jail. Certainly serving a white collar crime. All right. So he really wasn't in no destitute type situation. Let's just give it for what it is. Okay. Let's just give it for what it is. He went out there with no hardcore criminals. All right. So anyway, that was my spiel for the time being. But let's read what OK Magazine had to write on Mr. Apollo Niner. And we know that is a reputable magazine cover. Okay. So they say. OK Magazine says behind bars. This was published today, June 14, 2019 at 5 p.m. 
All right. Don't know if it's Central, Eastern, or Mountain Standard Time Zone. Didn't give me all that. Okay. But the title reads, Real, House, Real Housewives of Atlanta alum, I mean alumni. He was part of a franchise show, Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, by being the husband of Mrs. Well, Miss now, Phaedra Pauls. Okay. And she ain't had no luck and love either since he's been locked up. So maybe it's just destined for them to get back together. Which it wouldn't be a bad thing because he is going back to his family and uh, his kids. And they definitely need him in their life as far as just being a father figure. You know what I'm saying? Trying to steal them from some of the wrongs that he, you know, got involved with in his lifetime. And then, you know, having them a male supportive figure, role model in the house. I mean, of course, he's made his mistakes. We definitely don't want Mr. President. Or, or I don't know what the little boy name is. is it a Dylan or something? And we definitely don't want Aiden. Oh, he's such a precious baby. Aiden to be falling short of the law. You know what I'm saying? So maybe Paulo can teach them something how to stay out of trouble. All right, because he just need to get back on these reality shows and make some money and let that be his income. And Apollo, you don't need to be keeping up with the Joneses, the Smiths, and the Jeffersons. Okay, please don't stay in your lane. And then you can stay out of trouble that way. No more conning jobs, brother. But let's get on back here where the uh, title OK Magazine had put out behind bars. Real Housewives of Atlanta's alum, Apollo Nida, back in jail for violating halfway house probation. OK. And it goes on to say Phaedra Parks X was arrested only nine days after his release from prison. OK. He couldn't even make it nine days. Couldn't even make it a month. Been in halfway house before he had to creep up and do something silly that somebody needed to tell somebody else about to bring attention full blown to his behind and put him back in the face of the judge. And that was just my pun, my uh commentary, my spiel. Okay, wasn't written from OK Magazine, but getting back to what they said, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Apollo Nida is back in jail after violating his halfway house probation terms. Okay, magazine exclusively reported the father of two was released from Fort Dix Correctional Facility and moved to a halfway house on June 4th after serving time for fraud. Apollo was 40, living in Philadelphia's halfway house following his release from prison, but he broke a technical requirement. Relating to the rules of his release, the blast reported. Okay, Apollo was rearrested and taken to Philadelphia's FDC, an administrative security federal detention center. He potentially could be kept in custody until October 15, 2019. And I'm thinking, the reason why they said uh, October. Uh, 15, 2019, because see, when he was still part of that halfway house, okay, with a little bitsy butt running around now, breaking technical rules. Woo! No, before he could get released. I'm like, come on, Paulo, come on now. Woo! It's time to show your common sense, as well as your intellect sense now. Leave all that stuff behind. The negativity that just keep following you, son, it keep following you. Pay attention. Class is in. But anyway, that was my spiel again. You know how I go off onto my own spiel. But it's just, you know, reiterating. Um, he was supposed to get out, gotten out in October this year, 2019, preferably, preferably around the time of October 15th. But see, they need to keep his behind wherever they got him until October 15, 2019. Because he, ain't, he don't need to go to no halfway house. He needs to be kept wherever he at. Le release him on that date on his own incognizances. And hopefully he won't get in any more trouble. Because I'm telling you, I'm not on his bandwagon after this time. Once he get out, firmly get out. Where he's with his kids, you know, doing whatever, however, wherever. Okay, hush. Uh, hopefully he have learned his lesson. But then we go on back to the article. It says he was sentenced to serve eight years for cashing stolen checks and laundering over $2.3 through fake bank accounts. The convicted felon wasn't scheduled to be released from prison until August 2020, 
but a judge reduced his sentence in March 2019. Like I said, it probably was reduced because of good behavior. But what is he going to do up in there but behave in a sense? You know what I'm saying? He got food, shelter, and clothing. And, and no wants for anything. He got medical attention if he needed to go or whatnot. So what could he be doing up there but serving his time? Okay. That was my, my commentary, not in this article. Okay, and then it went on to say Apollo was married to Real Housewives of Atlanta star Phaedra Parks from 2009 to 2017, and they shared sons, Aiden and um, Dylan. So, <laughs> of course, you know, I'm kind of still confused. They're not really going in telling you what was the technical uh, difficulties that he faced as far as breaking his... Uh, his uh, rules and regulations he had to follow while he was in the halfway house. But then it goes on to tell us he's engaged to Shireen. Uh, you know, and, you know, she's supposed to be taking care of him, a sense of being a part of his life after he gets out. But I'm like, man, this is some booty for him to be sitting there trying to go to jail when he's so close, well, re, uh, um, re entering the jail prison population because he discreetly did something that you know was supposed to have been hush hush I guess but whoever told you know what I'm saying somebody somebody told and put his behind back in jail away from the halfway house until his release date but yeah they don't need to send him I'm, I'm a firm believer no the judge should keep him wherever they remanded him to be at at this time and he should serve out his time until uh, I guess August 2019 when his butt will be let out because God knows he needs to be there helping Phaedra raise his children and uh, co-parenting. Now, I don't know. It's just my gut instinct telling me somebody underhand has something to do with him getting out of that halfway house. Could it have been Phaedra made a phone call? I don't know. Could it be Andy trying to stir up more drama and suspense for this new show that may be coming out uh, on We Channel, talking about some love and after lockup. <laughs> like, anything for mindless drama, okay? And it's a new show. Now, you know I will be covering it because I just like my Apollo. I, you know, like I said, he's easy on the eyes. Yes, he is. But, you know, he made his mistakes and he went and um, paid for his mistakes in the eyes of the law. So I'm like, if somebody's just making up stuff on this poor man to keep him in jail away from his boys and freedom just being out, not having to check in, you know, with any other man or your whereabouts, but just being totally free in a sense, if you can even call yourself to be free in this society, but just not having doors uh for him to go in on a daily basis and they close behind him and he don't have the will to say, open these doors up, I'm ready to go. <laughs> so I'm talking about that kind of freedom. But I don't know, y'all guys tell me what you think in the comments, if you feel to do so or not. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel, listening to what I had to say from my opinion, my uh, observation of a situation of a topic that I'm covering Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing and liking my videos. Please do, do that as well. Continue to do that. And continue to tell people about my channel so they can subscribe. Okay? Because I got a lot to say. <laughs> it's just sometimes I have to pick and choose when I can do this. And the only time I really find that I can do this now is really on the weekend. I'm going to try to do better. Okay? I'm going to try to do better because I like talking to y'all and I like having um, my viewpoints put out there for the world to either agree with me or agree to disagree with me or, you know, just have a dialogue about the situation. Because I like, Phaedra ain't in no good situation. If she um, broke up with Capone and I'm like, okay, this would be an excellent story uh, line as well as a good show to uh, have Apollo and um, Phaedra co-parenting their two sons. You know what I'm saying? Not really necessarily having the kids all the time on TV because I do have an issue about kids being exploited to a sense of being on TV so their family can make money 
when it's several other ways definitely that they can do and provide for their family without being on ratchet tv reality shows but if you choose to do it it's okay it's all good it's how you feed your family but uh i always carry the more compass with you too because i just try to give it straight with no chaser and i don't try to tear them down i just be looking for them a different way or viewpoint so could we have did it this way guys could we have done it that way ladies and gentlemen uh apollo get this video to him if anybody would love to do that so he can see this man you need to be out here with your kids and stop making all these frivolous you know mistakes because you feel like you're entitled you know sit your behind down somewhere write a letter read a book write a book okay then come out and be with your family or I should say your sons, okay? But peace and blessings to you all. Thank you for coming to my channel and hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks, bye.